Hey, are you a planet? Well, I used to be. What do you mean, used to be? They used to call me a planet, but these days, I'm not sure what I am. Wow, that must be hard. That's not the half of it. Have a seat, and I'll tell you my life story. It was February 18th, 1930. I had just been made the ninth planet in the solar system, and there was a party in my honor. All my friends were there. I traveled a long way to get to the sun, almost 6 billion kilometers. I am only about 7 million kilometers from Earth, you know. A young girl from your planet named Vanessa Burney named me after the Roman god of the underworld. She, she chose the name Pluto to honor the astronomer who predicted that a nice planet would be discovered in the solar system. He was named Percival Lowell. P.L. Get it? Great joke! What was it like to be part of the solar system? It was great to be part of the solar system. Back home, I have lots of friends in the, in the Kuiper Belt, mostly periodic comets and boats and asteroids. The other planets are so cool. I couldn't believe I was in their club. Did your friends like the fact that you were now a big shot planet? My closest friends were really happy for me. Chair and Hydra and Nyx are the best moon friends a planet could have. But fame didn't change me one bit. I was still the same old icy ball of methane and nitrogen. But hanging out with the solar system crowd was pretty different. Did you know that your Earth goes around the sun 248 times faster than I do? That's life in the fast lane for you. You got that right. Also, by the time I turn around, a whole week has gone by on Earth. And another thing, Earth's gravity is 455% greater than mine. No wonder I keep losing things. Well, at least you're still a planet. They can't take that away from you, can they? Um, well, actually they can. And they did. Back in 2006, some astronomers decided that I wasn't fit to be a planet. They said I was too small and that my orbit was too weird. Can you believe that? After 76 years as the ninth planet, I was reclassified as a dwarf planet. How embarrassing. I, I didn't know that you were no longer considered a planet, Pluto. We learned in school that you were. I bet you're probably from Illinois, aren't you? How can you tell? It's one of the few places that I officially recognize my planetary status. You know that the man who discovered me, Clyde Tombaugh, was from Illinois? Wow, that's one amazing story. You lived quite a life. Well, I'm proud to say that I have indeed. I hope that one day I will be a planet again. Until that day, I'll hang out way out here in the, in the Kuiper Belt. Remember, Brad, it's not important what people call you. Just be yourself. Like me, Pluto.